What's up everyone, this is Mini coming at you with another How I Build It, and today I'll be talking about the Preussen. Before I get into that, a couple of quick reminders. One, I did receive this ship from Wargaming as part of my perks of being a community contributor, so you need to know that I did get that. Two, do not forget to hit that like button on the video and make sure to follow the channel here on YouTube. We are working on building towards partnership here on YouTube, and about 70% of you that are watching this video haven't hit that follow slash subscribe button yet, so make sure you hit that. Now, let's talk about the Preussen. Preussen is the German Tier 10 Tech Tree battleship that has replaced the Grosser Kurfürst, which is now in the armory for coal if you didn't already have it. Now, if you've been watching, there's been tons of different builds put out by CCs and content makers on how you build this. And I think that speaks to the viability of multiple builds, but also the fact that we're still not entirely sure what is the best way to play this thing. So this is the build I settled on after my testing, but bear in mind that is not a guarantee that other builds don't work. So let's talk captain skills first off. Now, I'm running Megatron on it because that's who I had my GK uh, captain as, but I would recommend if you're not already running him on something else, consider Luchins. Luchins has a lot of good... Uh, abilities that you can really proc here, especially the secondaries. A little bit about the Preussen, if you're not familiar, 105,800 hit points, along with the 4x2 457mm guns with the 15,000 damage citadel. Does suffer from uh, 1.8 Sigma, which is not the greatest, and dispersion that can feel trolly, so that affects how I build this thing. Now, in my captain build here's where i've settled i like to take preventative maintenance as the first point i have gone back and forth between gun feeder and preventative maintenance i've had my steering gears and engine in capped a few too many times in this thing as i try to play safe to not want to have that at level two i take grease the gears your turrets do need the ability to turn quicker. This gets my turret traverse down to 38.3 seconds, and that's with a plus 20%, so you can understand how bad the turret traverse is. At tier 3, you're going to want to take Adrenaline Rush, and you want to take Long Range Secondary Battery Shells. Get that 20% bonus firing range. That gets your range out to before flags. That gets you out to an 11 or a 10.5 kilometer range with a 3.4 second reload on those, and a 6.4 second reload on the other secondary batteries. Now, at tier 4, you absolutely need to take Concealment. Concealment is critical for this ship. You have a rough concealment, and this brings you down to 14.3, which makes it manageable. As this is German, I like to take Fire Prevention Expert on it, because you want to lower that chance of catching fire, as well as the number of fires, because German ships uh, burn, and with the amount of health you are, you don't want to be constantly DCPing. Where the debate comes in is where do you spend that last four points? Now, I went for manual secondary battery aiming. I'm playing this a little bit more brawler, which is why I've got the fire prevention expert as well. And so I like having that where my secondaries get more and more accurate, as well as the quicker reload time and the better dispersion. I've also seen plenty of people say, you know what, let's go with CQC. I believe Boo is one of those that is used uh, and recommends CQC because you get the quicker reload time when in secondary battery range, which means you go from 21 seconds down to 19 seconds. And honestly, having 21 second reload time is already amazing on this thing. Getting even quicker is great. The other way I've seen people go is go for the full survivability build and add emergency repair expert instead of manual secondary battery aiming. But, like I said, this ship has so many different builds right now. This is what I've been using, and I found I enjoyed the most in testing and gave me the best ability. Now, let's talk modules. For modules, you need to, if you're going to run this build, you need to balance it out with giving the main guns some accuracy, because the main gun's dispersion needs to be balanced out to make you feel better. I had games where I would shoot all eight uh, turrets, or eight guns, at targets that were 8 to 10 kilometers away and miss every shell before I started using this one. And that never feels good. So in slot 1, I'm taking main armaments mod, make sure that I'm getting my main batteries surviving and all of that. There's a debate to be taken for taking uh, DCP, some people say, or auxiliary armaments to keep your secondary batteries alive. I've gone back and forth between those. I don't think you're wrong with either one. 
it's up to you which one you choose to take. Slot two, you want to take the Hydroacoustic Search, get your consumable action time up 20%. This comboed with flags gets me to 158 seconds or more than two and a half minutes of Hydroacoustic Search at a time. In slot three, because I'm doing this as a hybrid build, I am not taking the secondary battery increase in range, which would give this the massively long range secondaries. I'm taking aiming systems because that 7% main battery shell dispersion is critical and you still get the 5% increase to secondary battery range. Slot four, I love to take prop mod because I find that prop mod is really nice for battleships. This one also has a strong case to make the argument for damage control system mod too. Because you're not taking basics of survivability and getting that lowering on your flooding and fire time, having DCS mod two is a consideration to get that low. Slot number five is going to be concealment system. Bring that concealment down, also increase the dispersion. And then in slot six, because you've already got 20.6 kilometer range, I take main battery mod, get that reload time down, and then the traverse speed is counteracted by grease the gears. I don't see the need to go to the extra 16% range on main battery, since you can run spotting aircraft or fighter, and I would never run fighter, I'd always run spotting aircraft. So that's how I build it out from there. Like I said, this is being designed as a hybrid build where I still have decent secondaries, but my main guns can do work. Because when these main guns hit, they really do a lot of work there. I mean, 21 second reload, 15,000 maximum damage means that three times a minute, basically, you're firing a broadside set that has over 100,000 potential damage in it. That's insane. Now, exterior. With camo, always make sure you're taking a camo. If you get the permanent camo, great. If you don't want to get the permanent camo, I'm running New Year's Sky right now as a commander and free XP grinder. Over in signals, I always run my economic flags on everything. I would not run special flags on this because this is a tech tree, so you do not get as good value from it. And then in combat, you want to run Sierra Bravo, get yourself that 10% extra hydroacoustic search time. I run Juliet Charlie. I had, and this may just have been my luck, but I had several times I detonated with a Proisin, which is unusual in my experience playing Battleships. So I'm running that to be on the safe side. That could have just been bad luck, bad RNG, but that's my thought. You want to take India Yankee and Juliet Yankee because you want to get that flooding and fire time down because of the fact you don't have basics of survivability. Then you want to make sure you take both Victor Lima and India X-Ray to get the increased chance of fire on your secondaries. Mike Yankee for the secondary battery firing range. And then I take Sierra Mike for the ship speed. This gets my uh, maximum speed up to 31 and a half knots, which is really nice. Though you can make an argument instead of ship speed to go for... Uh, preparation and reload time of ship consumables, continuous AA damage, or even if you don't want to take the debt flag, take out India Delta and get the better heal. There's a lot of different ways you can take this. This is what I've been running. If I were to do one switch, I would probably get rid of one of the two India X-Ray or Victor Lima flags and throw it onto India Delta but it's up to you. And then finally for flags, if you have any special flags that give you bonuses, always run those. Otherwise, run whatever makes you happy. Anyway, I hope that my Proisin build helps you out. Leave me a comment down below telling me what build you've been running. Make sure to like that video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, this is Mini signing off.